What do you think that you like the most and hate the most I while know. doing this joke? Oh. Okay. Sorry. Let's start with like. So anal is your favourite. Yeah. I think I quite like a, like a little bit. It's a little bit painful. I think that's the good part. Yeah. Like, like, like being taught a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I, li- I like like... um both at the same time i think Ooh, that's definitely okay. my favorite have you ever had like two dicks at once i've tried it but it's so hard to get into the position for dp yeah i was thinking that because it's like where does all the like rest of the bodies go like yeah no literally and like obviously the guys b- that i was with were two best friends and like welcome to stripped off guys my name is gia clark and i'm here today with the lovely lily phillips hello hi how are you today I'm really well I'm Oh, good. Excited. Yeah, it's, it's like good. a post nut interview. Yeah, it is kind of. We just filmed some content. So. We did. We just had um, <laughs> a bit of a content day um, before we came here, That's which is fun. Check it out <laughs> on the spicy site. Um, Not all my holes look. filled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We did <laughs> literally all of it. <laughs> so yeah, what a great way to begin. Um, so obviously, we're gonna ask the question that everyone. Probably asks every single OnlyFans girl ever on any podcast. How did you get into OnlyFans? Like, what made you think one day I'm gonna be a hoe on the internet? Right. Well, I was already doing it for free. Like, I was already being such a well, for free. So I was like, I may as well get paid for it. But I had a boyfriend at the time, and then he was like, I did ask him. I said, What would you do if I did OnlyFans? He was like, No. So I binned him. Well, he off. said no. Yeah, he oh said God. no. He said yeah, no. Get him in the so <laughs> get him gone. <laughs> binned him off. And then once I started that, I started like university and I was like, fuck it, like I'm in a a new city. Yeah. And so why not? And I just started it. And the thing is as well, like I didn't know it was that much of an actual job. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people do. It's like, I feel like a lot of people think like, oh yeah, it's just like a few pictures of you. A little side hustle. Yeah, but I think that like, would people like... If if it was that easy, like this is always the argument I try to make. If it was that easy to be successful on OnlyFans, wouldn't everyone be successful yeah, on OnlyFans who yeah, tries yeah. it? Like a lot of people, a lot of people. Don't. Yeah, do you know the average earning on OnlyFans for a month is something like a hundred and fifty dollars or something for the like average That's person? Yeah. And it's like for the amount of time and effort that you put into it, like yeah. surely you just yeah. But I don't know. I suppose you you have to start somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of people don't just end up like binning it off as well, like. Um, after they realise like how much hard work goes into it. Not saying we've got the fucking hardest job in the world, but like... I mean, I beg to differ. We stuffed something <laughs> in some tight places earlier on, so that was pretty difficult. If you me. Um, but it, it, is, it is definitely a lot more than just taking a few pictures, isn't yeah. it? Which yeah, definitely. people... Definitely. Think. What did you do at university? I did um, nutrition. Oh. Um, but I, st- I, could, I couldn't go straight into it because I didn't have all the qualifications, so I started off as like a like a primary first year yeah and i did it in like business but i think i went to one lecture or something like oh, that really? i was just there for the parties yeah sick, like freshers like, yeah it <laughs> was you, so fun which did you go in london to you know i went you? to sheffield oh did you yeah oh, yeah oh, nice. was there as well, is it like, sheffield hallam is that what it's called yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. I, I went to birmingham uni i hated it oh, i did i only i only did um hair and beauty at college so then when it got to like the end of that i was like oh, what did you do at uni well, I did, what did I do? It was like media makeup, but it was like the only thing I could do because I only had hair and beauty. But <laughs> yeah, I actually really, like I liked it. It was hard. I didn't think it would it'd be so hard. I thought, oh, yeah. because I did makeup in the beauty class. And then I was like, oh, right, I'm just doing it at uni. Surely it's just going to be more advanced makeup. It was not that. It did was, you get a qualification in the end? No, I Jot dropped out to be a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yes. Um, it, was, it was like, I had to write an essay on like, why people in the like nineteen tens would wear like this colour lipstick and stuff and like what it it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be That's at all. Much. But it, we did prostate, which was fun. We did like made people into zombies and stuff. Oh, so you actually did did a bit of uni. I did one semester. Oh really? Well I, I went when it was like COVID and it was all online, so it was oh, really, really shit. And oh so, like, so did you not even get to do all the well, like, fresher stuff? I couldn't no no no, we did all the fresher stuff. Like I did all the suck in and like fucking oh, yeah. stuff like that like i did all <laughs> the, the extra, full shabar yeah the extracurriculum activity is but because it was online i'm not like i want like good with like um online stuff yeah i just couldn't figure out how to get onto the online lectures <laughs> so i just didn't go well i'm sure you didn't really miss that much yeah no <laughs> no exactly i mean i'm glad i went into only fans now anyway yeah so how long have you been doing only fans now when did you start so I started when I was like 18, 19. So freshy. Yeah, probably like <laughs> three meat. years or so, something like that. Three or four years. 
Yeah. Yeah, I start, started young, fresh started me. Young. Well, I mean, I feel like, like, as well, now, like, when I was 18, OnlyFans wasn't a thing, but obviously there was still, like, online sex work, but, like, nothing. Yeah, like, like coming. Yeah, the, I did do a bit of coming, but because I did it on adult work, like, obviously, like, nothing against escorts. I'm just not an escort. And, like, a lot of people would think I was an escort because I was on adult work. So then in the end, I was like, oh, I'm, like, sick to death of all these people thinking, like... Like, asking you. Yeah, so I just, in the end, I just came off it. And then I think when I started OnlyFans, like, 2016. But I think even then, it was, like, not really much of a thing. It wasn't really yeah, a thing for me. No, but no. Yeah, like... I didn't think when I first started, I mean, it was just kind of coming to, like coming to light yeah but still i didn't know you could make like a proper wage on it or anything like yeah. that and i actually remember watching this youtube video of someone being like oh i think it might be like fake money and stuff like that like you don't actually get paid out for it and yeah. so when i first got that payout and it came into my bank i was like what <gasps> the fuck <laughs> i was like i feel like i found like a glitch in the matrix or something like that yeah and i think as well because when you first start like especially like the money like i was the same i didn't realize obviously that like, when you're making like the kind of money that like you can do on a successful OnlyFans, it's hell. Like with HMRC and stuff as well. Like the taxes. I was one of them people. It was like, oh, I, I don't need to pay tax. So I was <laughs> just putting. Pay. Oh my god, I did not save for tax put that way. And HMRC basically. What happened? I I pay a lot. Like every two weeks in. Oh, you like? I'm in like, a payment plan now because yeah. it was just so like bad. Like. That I just physically couldn't keep up with it. I had to bring them clear young, life. <laughs> and you don't know, and like you're making all this money, yeah. so you're just like, it's coming into bank, so you're just kind of spending it and stuff. Yeah, like, like. and like, I think that is one definite thing I wish, like, I would have known coming into yeah. OnlyFans. Save the tax yeah. because it will get you. Yeah. I think as well, because this is really not, I probably shouldn't be saying this, with stripping, because a lot of it's like, they Cash. can't ever really know, like, they, can, they only know how much you've told them. Yeah. Whereas obviously on OnlyFans, everything's there in black and white. Yeah, so you can't yeah, exactly like, exactly. Hide. not that you should hide your tax, guys. <laughs> I'm not um, implying anything tax at all there. Definitely. HMRC, you're watching what, this. Me? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, other than that, I feel like that's probably the, the worst. Yeah. Thing. I was really lucky. My parents like have a business, so they're really clued up on all tax and stuff like that. And that's so good. straight away, they took me to an accountant. I got set up and stuff like that. And... No, never really had any problems. Yeah, that was good. I feel like you definitely like need to be, especially when you're young. Savvy. You're just like, oh, I don't really care. Like, and I think a lot of the like, because I think definitely now some like younger girls are like shoot into like success. So like, I I can imagine like for me, especially like at that age, if I had like all of a sudden I had like this kind of money at oh, eighteen, you'd, you'd be yeah. like, oh my god. I reckon it is definitely really easy to like yeah. spend you're stupidly. The cash, hundred percent. But then again, like. What is the point of making good money if you're not going to treat yourself? Yeah. What is the most thing that you've like treated yourself to? Have you ever bought something and thought, ooh, I'm bougie AF for buying that? <laughs> like, like, look no. at me with all my money. I mean, my flat in London's the rent's expensive, oh but God. like that's like a flat. It's not like something fucking bougie and it's not like a watch or something like that. Probably like my chin surgery, that was probably the most expensive thing. Yeah, you were saying that before. So, what exactly did you get? Like, so it's I got, colours, because I'm still yeah. a bit confused what a chin implant is. So I got <laughs> like um, a little implant in here. Like it just kind of balances out your profile a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks nice and setback. sharp. <laughs> Thank you. And then they did like a little bit of lipo underneath here. You can kind of see the scar there. Um, just to uh, keep it all snatched. How long ago did you get that done? Is it quite a recent thing? Yeah, oh, literally God, really. so recent. Uh, mm. Three months ago, four months ago. Okay. Yeah, was it painful? Ago. No. I thought it was I thought it was great. I love the guy was like, you know, and as you're going down, he's like, Oh, do you usually do like recreational drugs? I was like, <laughs> uh and he's like, You have to In tell how me. Long? So <laughs> 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 In what time frame? Not today. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, You have to tell me because like they need to know like how much to give you. Because like, you know, like you don't want to be underdosed. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. And so I was like, yeah, quite a lot of cat and coat. Ah. <laughs> and so they just absolutely... Did they judge? They, yeah. You know, no. so they absolutely dosed me up and I woke up feeling fucking great. I was like, let's go out. Oh my God, really? But, yeah, and then the pain started like, kicking a bit, but I thought it was great. Do you know, I've, I've obviously never had a chin implant, but I feel like when I got my face filled on, I feel like I hate the feeling of the... Do you know, I feel like it feels like a like... Pu like someone's like pushing something into your chin. Yeah, like, I feel do you like hear the, the clicking and stuff like that? Oh my god, stop! I hate that. Have you ever had um, what is it called? Oh my god, my 
my friend did t- did it to me the other day. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. They like take your blood out of your arm and then like put it through your machine and then put it back under your eyes. Oh yes, um, P- is it? I feel like I always call it PHP, but I feel like it's not that. No, I know what you're on <laughs> about. I know what you're on about. And they're like, mi- like I come back home and I'm like, look, like I've I been see, stung I've never by a wall. Is it done to like make you look a bit younger? I think so. I think well, it's not. I think it's more to like if you under your eyes are quite like hollow, like yeah. puffs them out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, How much filler do you reckon you've had? Um, I think there's a before I've like counted up how many meals that it's been like. I think double digits. Really? Yeah. I well, I think yeah, mine's probably that as well because I feel like every time I go, I will probably get like two mil. But I don't usually, I don't really get filler that often now. No, Just once you've got it, it kind of stays. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't really dissolve. Oh my god, I got this filler done right in Turkey in my ass because I had, I had this like dent in my this. ass. Well, the, I went and there was like, oh, trying to fill it out. It didn't really work. But anyway, afterwards they were saying, oh, we could have put it in your face, and it, it lasts for like twenty five years. So like, I wouldn't have needed any more filler for like twenty five years. What the fuck? Like, Wait, I've never heard of that. No, that's yeah, a it's spooky. called. What like was that. it? It was some like I don't know what it was called. Now they gave me like, do you know, like? You, oh my god, I'm saying like so many times. You know, you get like <laughs> a little passport thing when you get your boobs done. Have you seen like you get like no. a thing that says uh, what what size your tits are? Yeah, I don't know like, what it's for. The shape and stuff. Yeah, like may, I think maybe just in case anything like happens to your yeah. implant. Um, they gave me like one of them and it was for the my ass filler, but then they were like, Oh, we could have put it in your face. What I'm was like, it to fill out? Yeah. I've got like an indent in my ass from where I fell like I was in the strip club and I like I, f- I think I like fell off a pole, like down some stairs or something. And because I was wearing shoes that were, like that big, oh it my just God. like proper went in. And that was why I got a BBL in the first place. Because really? yeah, like I went I, I did I didn't love my ass, but I weren't that insecure about it. And then yeah, once I got this dent, it was oh my god, it was so bad. So I was like, yeah, I need Wait, to Wait, so why did you get a BBL and the filler? Because I got the I got the first BBL, it's still there now to this day. It's not that bad now. It's still I can still see it, but it's compared there. to what it, what oh my god it's like I've been looking at your ass a lot today. Oh, well so. <laughs> glad to know that it's not as visible, I'm sure. Yeah, I will show you it though, and you'll be like, oh yeah, but it's not as bad. But I was just like, yeah, I want to get rid of it. And they put this filler in it, but I think because of like, I don't know how it is, it just hasn't kept. Yeah, yeah. But I had um, that hip dip filler. Oh, did literally you? Literally like a few months ago. Shit, it's all gone. Oh, like, really? It's so bad. Yeah, it, it was so expensive as well. It was like five grand. Really? No. Oh my gosh. You can, you can get a whole BBL for that price, and yeah. it's literally just filler. I think my one was like four. I feel like I've talked about BBL on every single podcast. I'm like, shout out Dr. Savior. But to be fair, like, he is definitely the best. Like, I feel like. I've seen, like we were saying earlier, like people get BBLs in England and like, if you want that BBL look, if you want subtle, but if yeah, you want that England, Turkey if you BBL, want that like, Kim Kardashian, yeah, like. the sculpted look, then I feel like Turkey is the way to go. Yeah, yeah, you can't go to English. Like. Yeah. Do you think you'd get any more surgery done? Or? Oh, definitely. I've oh, got like a w- notes on my phone. Oh my God, what are you going to get? So well, read want, us the like, notes. Basically, <laughs> I have a really weird like looking belly button and I really want like the belly button. You do not need your belly, belly button surgery. <laughs> no, but I hate my belly button. It's oh my God, can I see I've it or said. not? <laughs> you can show me it in the corner if you want it's like oh my god it's a normal no, belly button it, how are you it. insecure about I think your belly it's button? like it's really big, stunning really like, deep <laughs> it's like it's like oval shaped and i just hate it i think it makes me look fat as fuck well i mean like uh, people have their own insecurities that's fair enough i feel who oh my god scarlet was on here like i think she was asking she was saying she wants she wanted ear surgery to make her ears smaller i'm like your ears are literally normal no one notices people's ears as no. well like do you think I'd, oh, i feel like Sometimes they do, but like I feel like, do you know when you read them like crime things on Facebook? Do you know if yeah. someone's got like a funny haircut or funny ears and all the comments are like dumbbells at it again? And you just feel so bad for them. I'm like, oh, but I always still sit and read them anyway. I'm like, yeah. this is so mean. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was what? looking at getting my tits done as well. What you like, especially seeing other people's, you know, when you collab with other people and they've got well, nice tits, and you're like, oh, fucking hell. You've got nice tits though. So. Big tits doesn't always Small. mean nice tits. Like, yeah, I think, but... like, I wish, because mine, like, were already kind of like, like, there was big, but they weren't like big and perky. They were kind of not saggy, but not like d- not. They were just a bit like meh. Just wanted to feel them out. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like I lost a bit of weight recently, and now they just feel a bit like they this used to later. just be so much bigger. Like I always find if I put on weight, I put it on my tits a bit straight away. Yeah, and yeah. Lose weight. at least that's lucky then. Tits. To get the big, <laughs> yeah, but then if you lose weight, it just comes straight from my tits. So oh. I don't know. They're just looking a bit like sad. Where would you get them done in the UK? Are you gonna go? Probably for London. London, just because like then I'm close to home and stuff like. That. If anything goes wrong, I get yeah. a bit scared 
if I'm like if it's an abroad doctor, yeah, stuff like that. I think oh my, I really want to book him with that. Have you heard that? Do- I think he's called. I don't want to butcher his name. Doctor Plovia. He's in Belgium at that B clinic. Uh, one of my friends has just booked yeah, in I with think- him now, and the soonest she could get booked in is March 2025. So in like a year and a half. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just book in now, Fucking and then by hell. the time by I'm the time you're like saved up and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know how much it is to be fair, but like definitely by the time I'm ready for another one i feel like oh my I'm god gonna get a third. Wait, he must be sick then if if like if he's so long to get booked him yeah i think he's like the like daddy of noob <laughs> jobs i think he's the one like years and years ago like i think katie price went to him and then loads of people went to yeah, him because of yeah. her one does he do like online consultations then i'm not really sure to be honest i need to look into it i definitely yeah. want to go to him though next time when what, you go to turkey do you go do you have to do like an online consultation before? I always get confused about this then. I just went. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Like, they just basically said, just come. Just come. I just, like, I'd see, I've seen his Instagram and stuff when I went for the BBL. I was like, fair fucking play. Like, you're shit yeah, hot at BBLs. Yeah. Like, I'll just trust whatever you want to do. Yeah. So, I had about three consultations with my doctor before. Like, I had anything, like, my Tinder or anything. Did just because I get a bit, like, nervy. Uh, especially because that's your face. Yeah. Of like, course. it's fine. Not, no, it's fine. But, like, your body, you know, they can botch it a little bit. It's not too bad. But if yeah, they fuck just up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. If they fuck up your face, like, you're all fucked. Yeah. And that- I, I liked my face before. But it was just like, and so I'd be really upset if they fucked it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose like um, one of my friends has just got um, a filler done. Like, but you know when you first get it done in your chin and it goes like a witch's like, chin, yeah, yeah, and yeah. like we're going on holiday next week. But so she's like, oh my god, like, do you think this is okay? I'm like, yeah, it'll go down. Like, it'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> I used to work at like a filler place. Not I didn't used to inject, but like I was the receptionist. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a really like um. This doctor and he just wanted really like hot girl. Not saying I'm really hot, but like all the girls that worked there are really hot. Just was it a male to... doctor? Yeah, oh, yeah, right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I know who's fucked. And like, oh my fucking god, we went on a night out, and we're in like McDonald's at the end of the night, and he's just sat there eating my feet, like got his, his my whole foot basically in his mouth. And I'm what like, was what? this before you did any like? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all. This is when I was seventeen, like oh. sixteen, seventeen. I was working there. Um, he had his like whole foot in my mouth, and no joke, I'd had my shoes off all night because, like, obviously, when you're wearing heels and you're like in the club, and you're like, oh, I can't be asked to wear these anymore, so you take them yeah. off. They were dirty as fuck. I'd had glass in my foot as well, like they were grim as fuck. And this guy's older than my dad, and he's got like in McDonald's my whole foot in his mouth, my like dirty, my grim, dirty foot. Oh, yeah, nice. But, do you think do you know guys who have foot fetishes? Do they like? I know, I suppose it just varies from person to person, but I always wonder, like, do, do they prefer dirty feet or clean feet? Because <laughs> I remember when I first started doing, like, foot fetish kind of content, and, like, I'd, I'd have guys message me, but, like, oh, like, have you been to the gym today? Like, who, Sweaty feet, are yeah. you wearing the socks? And I'd be like, uh... Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, you're like, trying <laughs> to say the right answer. Yeah, you're like, and, they're like, and they're like, do your feet stink? And I'd be like, no. no. And then, and then like, they'd be like, oh. oh. Are you sure? And I'd be like... Mm. Oh, oh yeah, wait, yeah, they do, yeah. <laughs> like, no, I guess it depends on the guy. Some guys like really stinky, cheesy. Oh, feet. oh my god, stop! I've got this guy, right? I don't know. If, I think maybe you might do the rounds, but he, he's we've we've like renamed him as like cheesy feet guy. Um, and I basically like he'll message me, be like, "Oh, can you send me like?" He, I think he pays like a lot for like a 10 second voice note of just me saying I've got cheesy feet <laughs> and then he just deactivates his page but he always comes back he's like can you remember me I really like cheesy feet and then I'm like oh yeah and he's yeah, like can you yeah. tell me you've got cheesy feet and I'm like yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> you like, should see if you could like sell your cheesy like socks in a bag or something I don't like think that. my feet ever get cheesy, cheesy. no like, cheesy no, is not that, the word I don't know how people get cheesy feet I guess it's not like an actual thing. Do you cheat, like I feel like know. grow cheese? You know, though, if people have like worn shoes without socks, yeah, some like do athletes' like foot, yeah. <laughs> don't it makes me vile. Oh, like yeah, I've I get like obviously stinky feet. Oh my god, when I was a stripper, that was something else. You know, and they're like, it was one thing in the PVC shoes, you know, the open toe ones, and yeah. it was another in like. The boots, do you know, the full feet boots. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. And sometimes we'd do like mega long shifts and it'd be like, I'd take them off at the end or they would 
I bet they'd hurt as well. Out. I don't know how you wear heels for that long. Do you know, they're actually, like, I think the reason why stripper shoes are so, like, because stripper shoes aren't cheap. When I first bought them, like, they're, like, 150 quid. And I was like, these aren't even nice, yeah. like, for that much money. But I was like, right, I'll just buy them anyway. Just to get, and, like, the pleasers or something. Yeah, I think it's, you can just wear normal shoes, but I feel like they hurt your feet. I feel like the only time, like... Especially because some strip club shifts, you have to do, like, long shifts. Like, I've done, like, a 15-hour shift before. Okay. So, like, by the end of that, your feet are, like, burning. Um, yeah. Bad. But, and I as can't well, walk in heels. Like, oh, I think you might be able to walk in strip heels. You should have tried mine on yeah. at the house. We should have done it. Um, what size are you? I think I'm, like, I think I'm a five, but strippers use a six. Because if you think, think if you get a five, then they are, like, yeah, like pure. Yeah, pure circulation. Oh, I've got big feet. Have you? What I've size do you? long toes. Have you? What I've size? size eight. You're size eight? <laughs> oh, my God, no way. I didn't even notice that you had long feet. <laughs> my massive feet. But then that's also a selling point. Like, yeah. Like, really like my long toes and stuff like that. Yeah. Can you spread your toes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can do a lot of my toes. Can you? Do, what, do you ever get asked to do any, like, weird feet stuff? Like, yeah. Not like, the, other than the normal, like. Put your foot on a dildo. Like, do you ever do anything, like, a bit more um, not normal? I'm trying to think what, like, weird... Like, definitely stepping in stuff. Like, stepping in food. And also, like, I get this guy who's, like, um, he's really into, like, giant ass stuff. And so, like... Giant ass? What's that? Oh, yeah. my God. Yes, where you have to pretend to be big. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. And so that's why they <laughs> love my feet, because they're huge. And I'm, like, stepping on them and stuff like that. And, like... Oh, my God, no if way. I, I've got these, like, Doc Martens. And, I've cut, you know, like, when you go out raving, you wear your little docks. Yeah. And... Docks are just so much bigger, you know, because oh they're really God, yeah. chunky. And so I like put them up to, against a tape measure, and he's like, "Oh my God, Miss, like you're so big." <laughs> is he and quite I'm submissive like, as well? Is yeah, that the kind yeah. of like whole thing of the fetish? Like, oh, you're like bigger and more superior. Yeah, like I'm gonna squish you, just so like tiny, and I'm just so big and like powerful. That's like it's it's bizarre. I don't like it's not. I wouldn't say it's weird. I wouldn't say any fetish is weird. Like obviously, like what you like, people have things for whatever reasons. Like the fetish, but I just like when it's a new one. I just find it so like fascinating. <laughs> Do you know what I did the other day? I did a call up last week, right? And the girl came around shout out to lana rose she came around and she was like oh do you fancy doing a puffer video i was like a puffer she's like yeah i brought loads of puffer jackets with me and she's like i promise you like the guys love it and i haven't posted it yet but like the video was it was a new one put it that way it was what a new experience oh. yeah what, it was puffer a, jackets puffer jackets so we basically put the puffer jackets on and we were like <laughs> um she, she, I was just following her lead. She was like, right, I'll take the lead. I was like, okay. Yeah. She was like, put the puffer jacket on. She's like, oh, it's like, they like it better if you can keep the hood up as well. So I was like, right, okay. So we got these puffer jackets on, put the hood up. And then it was kind of like the vibrator over the puffer. So she had like, we had like four puffer jackets. So we had one on, one wearing each. And then we had another one like on our laps and then the vibrator over it. So we were like, oh yeah. Okay. And she thinks that it was something like, this is brand new to me. I'd never even heard I've of I've never heard puffer of that. Jacket I have like heard of a lot of things. I know, same. I was like, I, I, the giant chest one was one for me. I was like, that's a bit out there. But this is like, and apparently there's a huge audience for it as well. She's saying, she's like, yeah, it's my biggest seller. She's like, everyone who I've ever collabed with and I've said to them like, oh, do you want to do this? And they've done it and it's it's been good for them. So you need to get yourself a puffer jacket, Lily, well, and get I've that puff, one sat in that corner. Let me puffer get it video on. done. So I know, it will be some hard, some hard <laughs> members in the in the. Yeah, the, I was gonna say the crowd. It's not the crowd. In the, <laughs> the audience, the viewers. That's it. Yeah. Well, I thought you know you said puffer. I thought um, basically I have this guy who's really into like me like puffing myself up like a balloon. So I get like a bicycle pump, and I like pump it in my mouth, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm filling with air. Like, do you um, actually put the air in, or do you like? Yeah. So like, it, no, it's like um just one of them like toy. Yeah, ones. yeah. Not a toy one, like. Just to a, put a, put yeah, like a yeah. balloon. Yeah, you know, you'd go up a balloon. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'd go like that, and I'm like, oh my God. Oh, you like push your belly out, and you're like, fucking I'm about to explode. <laughs> like, I'm so full with air. Oh my and God, like, I love oh, that. Oh, it's so weird. But, I mean, not to kink shame, I don't really care. Like, I'll do it. I'll do anything for yeah. But Same, so I'm like. <laughs> it's definitely a new you're... one. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like, I've never heard of that one. Would you say that one's one of the most, like, out Obscure. there Obscure. Yeah, because obviously there's, like, the shit, and, like, the burping and stuff like that. That's like a bit gross. Yeah. And then there's like really obscure ones. I recently had a guy who's like um, really into seeing me wash my hair. Wash your hair? Yeah, yeah. So like That's I've had to do a load one. of like shower videos. I'm having to wash my hair like every other day. Is it making your hair really dry? I, yeah. I only wash yeah. mine once a week or else it's like storm. Yeah, like, it's so long. He's like, oh, do like multiple shots where like it's your hair getting wet and stuff like that. And then like washing it through with shampoo, getting the like the... 
shower pose <laughs> on it and stuff like that. It looks that's it. fascinating. Yeah. I love that. I know, but that's great because oh yeah, yeah. Cool. and I feel like the ones who like have like a fetish which is like that like they, they know that it's not a normal fetish and they know that they're like they're ca- not inconveniencing you but it's like you're obviously got to be washing your hair a lot more than yeah, you would be doing yeah, and it's yeah. on their beck and call as well so they, they know that they have to like pay more because it's kind of like yeah. so I suppose it's win-win for everyone like, I mean if if I could make a site and just be like right everyone with your fe- like not normal <laughs> I would happily wash my hair and be a giant dress all yeah, day than yeah. be like doing the usual not that I hate the I usual really, but I it's fun do yeah I think anything that's like a little bit different or a bit out there I love it like I'm just like oh this is fun like sometimes with custom content though I find that people can be a bit too like demanding like this color lipstick I want your hair real. Oh I my want God, these yeah. pants on I want you like they they tell you basically some people fucking buy a three minute custom but give you like 10 things to do and you're like fucking having to like rush through it all and yeah. it's a shit video because like you're just rushing all of it for three minutes like yeah you never get it in in time and stuff like that they're telling you exactly little minor bits and you're just like fuck yeah. it I'll leave it out like yeah, but I do hate that. But I also hate when they don't give you enough info and then they say it's wrong. So like, if you're like, they're like, oh yeah, my name's Kevin. Here you go. And then you do it and they're like, well, you didn't bend over and squeeze your ass cheeks out and show me your ass on, stick your fist up your ass and you're like, all right, Kevin. Did you like, fist in? No, but like people still, oh my God, what did I have the other day? A guy was like, so a guy took, a guy had a request. And then it like I was like right, but he was like he didn't really communicate to me properly what he wanted, and to be honest, I think I kind of skimmed the message. I was like, just read it. I was like, oh yeah, that's fine. And then it turns out he wanted me to like put squirty cream up my ass and shit it back out. I was like, I can't do that. Like, and even if I wanted to, like, that's not allowed on OnlyFans anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, against you got to t- be careful, haven't you? Yeah, there's so many things you're not allowed to yeah, do. Yeah, you can't there? do the piss stuff anymore or anything like that. Yeah, I don't think you ever could because you, you have to say it's squirt. squirt yeah, yeah, and like public stuff. All my old shit's yeah. getting taken down. And stuff oh, I'm like great. So I did a video which I had to delete when I went to Ibiza. I was like, right, I'm gonna do a video like fingering myself on the plane because it was when it was during COVID. So like literally there's in the plane like, toilets, like on the plane, <laughs> there was like nobody. Um, <gasps> The, there was only like me and like two other people on the plane. I, I was gonna do it in the toilets and then I was like, Fuck when I got it. on the plane, because yeah, it was yeah. COVID, there was like nobody on the plane. I was there. I think there's only a short flight anyway, they won't kick you off. They'd let you yeah, what are you gonna do? Stop off in France. Yeah. Like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> they just like, Bonjour. in the end, they were, I was just like, they looked at the cabin crew, just like had nothing to do because they weren't allowed to like come up and down with the snacks and stuff anyway, because it was like oh, shit. Yeah, COVID. COVID. Yeah. So they were just at the top. And then I was like at the bottom on my own and I'd already done the start of the, this video in IB for our popping like, oh my God, he, he, flat like flushing yeah. it. And I was like, right, I'm just gonna do it. So I set the phone up at the other side, like of the thing. And then I was just sat like- he, Put it on your little tray table. Yeah, like at the end of the thing. And then I just like bashing one out. And then literally like I put it on my page. I think it was on there for like two months. And then someone was like, he do you know that's like really not allowed. I was like, oh, oh fuck what? off. <laughs> so just sell it in private. I think maybe like if anyone wants that, by the way, I still probably That's have it somewhere. Video, like it was fun. It was um, it wasn't very long. It was like thirty seconds of it, but the, like the still. whole like leading up to it, I like did a whole yeah. thing around the airport. But as well because that had like loads of people in it. Obviously, I didn't realize at the That's time that you can't do that. So I was like, this is me in the airport. But I used to be a lot more ballsy than I am now. I feel like I'm. It's not that I am not ballsy. I'm just think. Well, what's the point if I can't? Because I only if really you can't use. Sell it. Yeah, I only really use OnlyFans. Do you use any other platforms or just no, OnlyFans? No, we were saying earlier where it is like a lot to keep on top of. Yeah. Like, but because I only use that, like, fair enough, I probably could sell this kind of content. Like, I was on Unfiltered for a little bit. Have you seen that one? It's like, do you know the girl who sells farts in a jar? That She's called St- Stepanka. She, um, oh. it's it's her website. She, like, makes a, she, like, sells farts in a jar for, yeah. like, 100k a week or something stupid. Yeah. And um, she made her own site, which is, like, another OnlyFans. Do you wonder if she actually farts in the jar? Oh, yeah, she does. She, like, eats the, she got really ill because she was, like, eating, like, she was eating foods to make her fart stink, basically, because that's the fetish for the guy in it, and I think they know. By the time it gets them, do you think it still smells? Yeah, so what what she does apparently is farts on a rose petal, like this rose petal thing, and it like holds the smell, and then it goes in that a, makes sense, like though. a bauble, so to like hold like that's airtight. So she like farts onto something. She basically eats loads of like these like protein things yeah, that are yeah, just like, yeah. like make her ill. Like yeah, all the like. <laughs> <laughs> shit foods basically quite literally and then 
just yeah fart sort of pedal puts it in a <laughs> bobble good. bob's your uncle but, that's but in a ch- <laughs> i mean i'd rather do that than a, a nine to five so far enough yeah of course for that money would you ever sell your fart in a jar see i don't do like farty or shitty stuff i don't either it's just a bit like it's, for me like that's a bit too personal mm. i don't fart around anyone anyway yeah so, like i wouldn't sell that i mean i'd still i wouldn't sell a video of me fighting in the jar but i would just sell it to them i would like fart on my own in private in the jar <laughs> and then sell them the <laughs> I don't jar know my god, I don't know my god. Oh, i've f- done the whole like burping thing but then that's that's different like oh who someone was telling me right they got this girl accepted a custom for a farting custom and they just couldn't bring themselves to do it. So they was like, right. And they got the boyfriend to do it. And then afterwards they sent the video to the guy and the guy was like, like, what do you think I'm a fool? And then like, apparently the guy got really upset and he was like, you think my fetish is a joke? And so I was just like, oh my God, no. Like, And he, he found out that it wasn't her. How? Because they can, um, the, the reason- Was it just a sound? No, they, so they, the, they like like do you know how it like makes your asshole rip up? Yeah, so like she like... bent over and then a boyfriend had farted in the background or got like or whatever in the background. Yeah. And then she's obviously just like But you can't see it like you, you know can't see your of... ass like that. So like they just she she's yeah. called a bluff on it. So yeah, she's like yeah, yeah. Oh my god, can you actually imagine that like having to refund someone because you have like they didn't fart for him properly, like they knew you were lying. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, but yeah. But uh, the, but I've never done but to be to be fair, like I think I just do quite vanilla. What uh, what's like the most like fucked thing you've done? Um, to be fair, the plane thing's pretty fucked. Oh, t- I didn't actually find that bad. Like, I thought because there's no one on the plane, it's fine. But I think when when I was like when I first started doing like stuff like this. I used to like do quite taboo fetishes, but I used to charge like nothing as well. I'd, I'd do I did a ten minute sister role play not stepsister actual sister where <laughs> i was like it was like be very specific to be my actual sister and not a stepsister Blood sister. Uh, yeah Blood so sister. i was like oh just started only fans i'm like oh, 20 quid to 20 quid yeah. so i was like did a 10 minute 20 pound custom pretending to be his sister like I that's think so probably that. fucking cheap i, I bet know, it was like, like, like <gasps> can i get oh. another one I know, and he was another one as well. He was like, sent me the full breakdown, like so, so specific. And I think he's done like a couple of girls as well because I feel like I've talked about this with someone else and they were like, oh my God, yeah, he's messaged me as well and I did it as well. But I think they got a bit more out of him, which I probably should have done. But I don't really care about the whole like sister brother thing. Do you, yeah, I feel like... Th- oh my god have you ever had a guy like where they like pay for a custom i had one once and then he was like right you need to say that your name's this like they've obviously got a person in mind when they're doing the custom do you know what i mean like You've got so, a special someone yeah and it's usually like they're like like brother's girlfriend or someone in it like someone who they could never ever yeah, like go near yeah, yeah, yeah. like and they're like oh can you pretend to be katie please and i'm like <laughs> oh hey hey it's um, rob's girlfriend katie here <laughs> <laughs> it's just so like oh. I love that guys are so imaginative yeah, but I could you, I could never like trust guys because like oh yeah it oh. opens your eyes doesn't it no, this job to how fucked they actually are so, like and especially it's always the ones that you like wouldn't even know as well like they used the guy right so I, the reason I even started doing OnlyFans is this guy used to like you know how we all have that like weird guy on Facebook who just like messages you all yeah, the time yeah like come on yeah he's yeah. like oh any need any at first he was asking me for nudes and I was like, no, I would never send anyone a picture of my <laughs> vagina. Not what, like, anyway, that didn't last very long. <laughs> he, was this when you did stripping? No, this was like before any of that. Like, yeah. this was like pure, like, like, crude. Virgin. Yeah. He, and then he was like messaging me like, oh, send me your Amazon wish list and I'll buy you like anything you want off it to prove that I'm real. So I was like, right, whatever. Sent him it, obviously didn't think. And then the stuff came, I was like, wait a damn minute. Like, why? And then he was like, all I want you to do is to be like, like be mean to me and like like he was just telling me like what words like like. yeah kind of i think he had like that do you know that femdom fetish mm. where he's fetish if you don't know what that is it's basically like they just want money they want they want they you want to you demand the money. money yeah like they, they want you to say stuff like or oh, like they they want to only work to please you don't the stuff like that like yeah like your wallet's mine like. yeah like the, the i think the 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 thing is, like, the, that you're in control, and that's the fetish yeah, that you're yeah, basically yeah. in control of their life. Yeah, but like yeah. they go to work for you. Yeah, and that's what. I mean, if that's what you like, like, I'm, I'm in, into I'm that. here for okay, it. Give no. me all. Um, he was just like, that was it, and then he's like, after that, I was like, oh my god, like this is actually like, so like, why am I not doing this more? Mm-hmm. But he was like, he 
he was just a normal guy that he was a chef at like my local pubs. Like my mum and dad knew him and like, it's always he, like was, he was just a really normal quiet guy. Guys, yeah. Yeah, he was quiet as well. And like the all the quiet guys have got like a deep yeah, a deep yeah, yeah. dark secret. No, I found some guys that subscribed to me from school and they were always like the quiet ones that I'd never really even talked to and I Did they like, tell you or did they use the real tell name? Me. Oh really? Mm. I always find it like do you hate it when people subscribe on like an anonymous account and they're like, remember me? It's like yeah. you have a got picture yeah, or a yeah, name. Yeah. How would I remember yeah, yeah, you yeah. anonymous two five yeah. six yeah. but i had a guy from school as well who subscribed and he used his real name but then he was like after like he was basically like i said something that he didn't like i basically said he had to pay for something that he it was like do it for free and i was like no and then he was like well you're a little slug anyway you know what to do when the butter yeah they start being fucking yeah. mean you're like fuck off you fucking paid to be in here. it but Literally. i don't think do you know when people say oh only fans is anonymous i think yeah. they think Oh, it just hides their name, but name. it's only anonymous if, if you, you put, choose you to be anonymous. anonymous. Yeah, so I was like, I, I obviously know it's you, and You're it just, fucking like, dumb, just went after. <laughs> <laughs> someone, what did someone comment on my? I had a video of me shaking off. Someone put dead patty, <laughs> dead patty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, right, why have you fucking paid to be if you think? Why was it so, an actual? No, subscriber. this is not a subscriber. Someone who's paid to be there. Why, why would you pay like if you think I've got a shit ass or whatever? So, some of them baffle <laughs> me so much. Like when, like my, I, I don't have any paying fans now because my page is free. But when I did, some guys would come and be like, start giving me shit. And I'm like, why are you paying to give me abuse? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like who is? I the think mugger? it's because sometimes they just think you're like a robot and you think you're like not real and i think as well sometimes they think that because they've paid like they're so entitled yeah and, like, they yeah, can like yeah. they can tell you exactly what do whatever it's like you've paid like it's like fuck off nothing, yeah like. you've paid like three pounds <laughs> 70 i'm <laughs> gonna block like, you in a second yeah it is ridiculous isn't it let me see what other questions we've got i um, can imagine as well here. with your thing like um because obviously yours isn't paid yeah so i feel like a lot of guys like and it's the worst like Oh, I shouldn't really tell, say this because now they're going to know that they can do it. But like, if they block me, they can just start a new account and message me off that. Like, <laughs> and I don't have to pay to come back. It's like, oh, it's not like with Instagram. Like, if you block someone, you can block all new accounts they yeah, create. Yeah. This, it's like block someone. They can just start. And, I mean, they are inconvenienced of making a new email. Yeah, yeah. So take that. But yeah, they still ultimately can just rejoin, which is annoying. Like, if if not, they would have just had to pay to join. Yeah. Wait, so if you just c- come back and just start giving me shit, you're just gonna get blocked again. Like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not gonna take your shit. Simple as so. Yeah, um, that was that. Um, so, what do you think that you like the most and hate the most anal. while doing this joke? Oh. Okay, Sorry. let's start with like. So, anal is your favorite. Yeah. What is so great about anal? Because you are on your own on that one. I am not feeling mutual really? about that one. Yeah. I think it's like I think quite like a, like a little bit. It's a little bit painful. I think that's a good part. Yeah. Like, like, like being taught a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, like, I don't know. I I just feel like sometimes I give myself a bit of pat on the back once. Of, like, it's just quite like, I don't even know why I fucking like it as well. I, li- I like, like, um, both at the same time. I think Ooh, that's okay. definitely my favourite. Have, have you ever had, like, two dicks at once? Sorry, no, that's a very forward No, question. so I've have tried you ever it. Two cocks at <laughs> you ever taken two cocks at once? <laughs> no, so I've tried it, but it's so hard to get into the position for DP. Yeah, I was thinking that, because it's like, where does all the, like, rest of the bodies go? Like, Yeah, no, literally. And, like, obviously, the guys bo- that I was with were two best friends and, like, the cocks literally touch, like, it's such a small, Because really? like, the, the thing wall. in between, like, yeah, it's like, mm. like thin like bit of yeah skin, isn't it? yeah and so this guy's like fucking me and i think it was cowgirl and then obviously the guy the other guy was like trying to put it in from behind but it's just so hard yeah I could imagine like that. the arsehole's quite tight as well isn't it yeah so and with all that bit. going on it's like oh tensing up a bit yeah like. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah like to get the rhythm because one guy's like fucking you from the bottom yeah guys so it's a bit yeah, I can imagine that being pretty difficult, to be honest. What about what do you least hate the most about, like... Only fans or sex? Um, look, we'll start with sex, and then we'll do... Well, I'll ask you the same question again with only fans. Okay. Um, what do I least like? There's nothing I really hate. I don't really like having my hair pulled. I yeah, just think, ooh, like, I love that. I'm like, oh, harder, daddy. <laughs> no, but sometimes they pull it wrong. Yeah, I because I, I don't have like a boyfriend or anything like that, so I just sleep with like a lot of different guys, 
And so some guys are like really shit at it. Just like knowing what to do and stuff like that. And so some guys don't get the gist that like you need to. Yeah, you're going to put it all together. Like, and you need to put it, like, it all together. I hate when they do that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That, that. Yeah, like yeah. if you're a guy and you pull her like Listen this, to this, please stop. You need to get the whole head of hair. Yeah, it's, really, it's, it's like, quite painful, I think. Yeah. Like, I hate it as well when they're like sucking dick and they, they do that. <laughs> and, like, I don't you mind. Them, like, eyes are streaming. Yeah, like that. But like, I hate when they like grab. Because when they grab near the root, it hurts. Like, yeah, just yeah, be yeah. gentle. Like, That's the thing. The thing is, though, if I'm if I'm horny enough, like anything goes. Yeah. So. What's your favorite like normal position? Like not anal, like just. Oh, just uh, vanilla like position. cowgirl. Oh yeah, vanilla I do love position. good cowgirl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like, no, they're, they're like fucking you from the bottom. Yeah. yeah. But you like cowgirl, but they're doing all the work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that one. What about with OnlyFans then? So what would you say is like your least favourite like part of it? Like doing OnlyFans as a job and then what's your favourite part about having it as a job? Ooh. Obviously just all the sex stuff. I actually really get off to guys getting off to my content. Do you? Yeah, like, me That's too. a really it's like... A turn on, in it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he finds you sexy. Just jerking off to me. Um, so that's what, uh, definitely a pro. And then a con. There aren't that many. I think maybe like the stigma around it. Yeah. And just it's stuff like that. Like ideal. social media platforms will fucking block you. Um, people, as soon as you say you do anything, they look at you differently. Yeah. Um, and also just like the guy situation. I haven't got a boyfriend or anything like that. So like, I find it hard to date guys. Yeah, I think a lot of guys don't understand as well. And the ones that like pretend to understand are doing it for the wrong reasons as well. Like yeah. a lot of time they'll like, I feel like it's such a, a like an ick personally. It's if you're talking to a guy and they're like, oh, ca- shall we make contact? And oh, you're just like, oh, you've just The first thing it. they message like, you or something. Let's I hate make that. It's together. Like, you're just like, no, nah, fuck off. Yeah. So they like, don't actually, they just want to fuck you. They don't actually want to yeah. do any work. And a lot of them like, it, like we were saying earlier, like when you do content, it's not like you just put a camera on and film having sex. Like you have to no. do, there's a lot of other things you have to consider. Like You have to lo- do all your social media. So like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Telegram, yeah. um, fucking TikTok. Like there's so many social media, Snapchat. Then you also obviously have to do all the OnlyFans stuff. So yeah, like, and the content and personal content as well. Which yeah, is, yeah, and messages, customs. Yeah. Um, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. And then when Lives. you actually like filming the content, like oh my god, me and the guy that I film of was like doing some content the other day, and it, like before you even start the video, it was so much pissing about like changing the lights. Yeah, I'm it, it all And up. then like, oh, you can't see anything from this position, but like, we have to move the camera into a different position. Then, oh my God, the other day I filmed a video and it was like on the camera, you know, you get like the hand thing that goes around your wrist. Yeah. And it's like, because we've moved the camera like on top, it's dangling down and all you can see all the way through <laughs> is like a little swinging like legs thing. I'm like, oh, so annoying. It's fucking tiring sucking it dick is. all day. Like It is, it really is. And especially if like, see if you've got like a, like a big day of filming, mm-hmm. like, it gets so, it hurts yeah, after a bit. Yeah, like, yeah, having like, to be in like certain positions and stuff like that. And like, yeah. obviously the guys, like if you film with a guy, like they can only come like a certain amount or like yeah. that like when they come, they've got to be quite like timed with it. Like it is yeah. quite um, strategic. Yeah, there's like a lot of pressure as well. Like I, me and like the, the guy was filming the other day. So like I was like, we was like having text, but then I was like, for the cum shot, we need to be in a different position. But then he was like, oh my God, I'm under loads of pressure now. He's like, so then we have to like stop between the bits and just like have normal set. Like, yeah. It's a lot more than what people think. People yeah. think it's, it'd be just as easy as like, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's definitely. actually really not. You have to definitely. kind of plan it. There's a lot more. Work lot hard, more. play hard. Yeah, well, that's it. But I mean, it's obviously like difficult, but like, it pisses me off when people are like, oh, they're like, oh well, try doing a real job, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I, like at least a real job, like you go to work and, <laughs> and you, you come home. Off. This is like never ends. Like yeah. as soon as I wake up in the morning, like I'd, I'm sure you're all the same. I just look up at her and I just think, oh, Social like media. it's just like, brrr, like yeah, I'm just like, yeah, to do list. Ah, uh, <laughs> like, no, definitely, definitely. But I mean, not again. not say it, I love it. I yeah. Love it. 
yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I love it like and I can't see myself doing anything else other than like even like now I'm doing DJing and stuff as well I'm, it's, that doesn't mean I'm gonna just pack up OnlyFans because I lo- like and I, I think obviously like I would have never been able to like pay for like music courses and like train and buy my equipment and stuff that's been super expensive never been able to afford any of that without OnlyFans like so it's like I'm not gonna ever turn my back on OnlyFans I'm hoping to like maybe do it as not a full-time job because I feel like you need a balance as well like we were saying before we like, haven't got like, hobbies it's like you need to like if you're just doing only fans only fans only fans from the second you wake up to the second you go to sleep like like yeah it's nice having all this money and working hard but what is the point if you're not giving yourself like a break yeah, 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 in between yeah, yeah. and I feel like even it's when so you go on holiday overwork. and stuff like that it's never know. a holiday yeah, you're just like ooh yeah, TikTok's in the pool look at me yeah. in a bikini but I thought like a, a picture on because you feel like if you have a day off like I feel like if, if I have one day off I'm so, so behind bad. like and I'm like everyone else is doing better than me everyone else is working every single day around the clock like I need to do this but it's not healthy it's like yeah, it's yeah. so I think with this job it's so easy to overwork yourself yeah, yeah. And I said it like it's quite like a, a mental thing as well like definitely the amount of like hate you get and stuff not that I, to be fair I'm not bad with stuff like that but I, like I was talking to I actually just watched a TikTok on it this morning this girl was like I'm having to quit OnlyFans because like because of the mental yeah. impact it's having on me and stuff I like think that. as well a lot of people like I've noticed that like maybe started OnlyFans in lockdown when it was a lot better and easier because bear in mind everyone had their furlough everyone was out at home i feel like yeah. it's definitely harder now yeah more there's, saturated yeah of course because think obviously every single day there's more and more people that are joining the site yeah so you have to kind of be like right what is going to keep me like no uh, yeah and because like so easy for people to think right there's a new girl that's come along now yeah, like jump yeah, yeah. ship yeah like it's easy to blow up and stuff like that but like to maintain that is quite yeah hard. especially if you like like for TikTok or where I, I had one TikTok that once did really well yeah. and like my percentage yeah. just yes. dropped and I was like oh my god I could not believe how much like every single day for about four days yeah. I was like making like double what I'd, I'd made before I was like this is ridiculous but then like, it's not sustainable that's what well, no. I mean unless you're consistently going viral all the time you can't just rely on that as a source yeah. of income like you have like you said you have to be on all the social medias all the time and I think a lot of people who like had like in lockdown like it when it when it was it, I want to say it was past you want to play it, but like it was obviously a lot easier. And then I realised it like to keep up with it and to be able to still make money. Like it's not just no as straightforward. Like you have to be working like twice as hard. Yeah, like keep yeah. them, keeping your fans engaged and stuff. Definitely. So, well, again, we're not marrying. We're just, just we're <laughs> just, just explaining. A bit, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, it's just a lot. It, no, because people don't understand. No, it. It's they like don't. My, my ex boyfriend who I was with, like. Uh, like last year he when he like he'd never even like he didn't even know what OnlyFans was he'd yeah. never done anything about it so when he came in to like see what it's like he was yeah. like wow this is really open yeah. my eyes like you work all the time yeah, and that yeah, in the yeah. end was the reason we split up because my I was always at work he was like you're always on your phone you know and I'm like yeah. because do you want to live in a yeah, nice yeah. house or no, not like you my ex used to fight me on this he'd be like why the fuck are you on your phone right now and I'm like I've got I've got fucking work to do like I've got Isn't shit it? to do and he's like, just put it down for two seconds. But then every time you're not on your phone, you're just thinking like, oh, I've got um, shit to do. Like I've got, I've got things, that I, messages to be answering and stuff like that. Yeah, because it, it never stops, does it really? Like it is always like, it's round the clock and it ne- like there's always stuff to yeah, do. Yeah. So I feel like even if I have a day off, I'm sat thinking like, I could be doing yeah. this right now. Like I could be like, do, <laughs> and then I'm like, in the end, I just end up like doing something anyway. Yeah, I'll be yeah, like, yeah. oh, like, I don't know, um, like, editing pics like I'm always just doing something because yeah, you feel yeah, like yeah. there's just too much not to do no one time I was really naughty and I went on a first date with a guy and um this was when I first started and then I went back to his and I was literally sat in his bed fucking sexting oh, on no. only fans <laughs> I was like I've got a shit to do and then he texted me after the date he was like oh you're a really lovely girl I want to see you again but like you like you shouldn't be fucking on your own oh uh, like on your only fans like sex with other guys while you sat lay in bed with me I was like yeah that is but it's like, well, you, fucked, you have to learn but, what you're getting yourself but in but for yeah <laughs> I've got work to do yeah no no time for your cock I've got yeah. other people to attend to <laughs> isn't it like your cock is a second grade now <laughs> like you have to get used to it but I suppose like it is good as well like like if you like do have a guy that you're seeing or like whatever like like because we all have like loads of nice sets lingerie sets and stuff mm, so it's always like do you get treated i've got a fucking drawer stuffed of like toys and stuff yeah. like that what's your favorite toy 
Have you got any big girthy daddies? Or- <laughs> <laughs> have you got one of them? Do you know what I really want? I feel like the I've got every- machines. Oh no, I have got one of them. But have you seen the one that's like? It's like a body. And you- a body. And you sit <laughs> like on it. Awesome. Right well, then you just don't need a man. Yeah. No, I want one of them. Fuck. I've got a fuck machine, but it's not strong enough. Basically, because is it an eBay one? I feel like I might have yeah, the same one. My- I want a better one. It's quite. Because it's quite tight. <laughs> it, like it doesn't move. Because, oh, really? like, it gets in, like, if I put it in there, it won't, like, go like that because it's, it's the friction. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I need one of them proper, like, machine ones that you plug into the wall and it just yeah. absolutely rails you. Yeah, you got, they're quite expensive. I think so. Yeah, I think my they one's expensive. shit and my one's, like, 250 quid. So I think for a good Some one. Some of them are, like, a grand. Yeah, I can imagine that. Do you know what I might do? This is what I did with the last one. I, like, put it as a campaign on my page. So I put, put like, a picture oh, of it on. That's a good idea. And was, like... Anyone any tips yeah. gets the video with it. I was and talking then, to a friend. She was like, "Do you want to go halves on it?" <laughs> I, mean, I suppose that's a good idea. Cause it's not like you're going to use it all the time, is it? Like yeah. a fuck machine. One of them things that's like just you can swap in and out the dildo as well. So like, yeah, you, know, you wouldn't really be like using the same one and stuff like that. I mean, there's toy cleaner anywhere. Really yeah, well, <laughs> well, well, well Sherman's <laughs> caring. <laughs> but yeah, the one that I've got, like, I've, I was adamant, like, oh my god, when this comes, I'm going to use it all the time for content. I think I've used it twice. Oh, really? I think part of the reason is that I've lost the um, what is it called, the controller. Yeah. So, so I can't then you have to like switch it on the side. It's a bit awkward. Oh, I didn't even know that I could do that. Oh, I just really? thought it was unusable now, but oh. I'll have to have a look when I can. <laughs> Give it a blast, and I know what my fans' content are getting tonight. <laughs> no clues. Um, but yeah, what's your favorite toy? So you've got a fuck machine. What? what no, what? I don't. I, oh, you well, don't I have. have it, I, no, I have one, but it's shit. So. But I think with toys, right? Like, do you were saying that big wand thing, and you were saying it, it's painful, painful if you use it? So do you know the like. Context. The ones that you plug into the, the ones wall. that you like it's a massive it looks vibrator. like a microphone, microphone yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of them the industrial like, style ones literally well i got one right off love honey right um and it was really really good it worked really well for ages and then i feel like i like when i moved house something must have happened to it and now like it plugs in but it's like very very weak it's just not yeah, gonna yeah, touch yeah, yeah. hit the spot i don't think um, no. But I like. I feel like I like the little ones more anyway because they're a bit more precise. I know them you huge can, ones. Fucking hell! Yeah, they're just like, where does it get? Like, send, <laughs> send your grandma into a stroke. Honestly, <laughs> like oh, they're they are powerful. So they are, and like they, I think they can be too powerful. Like mm. dinosaurs are delicate, beat like things. Like very delicate. They need to be treated with <laughs> lots of care. And yeah, but oh, nice. Let me see what about questions <laughs> we've got on this list. Um, I don't know if we already kind of touched on this, but um, what is the weirdest request you've ever had, like from anyone on OnlyFans, or the craziest, like most shocking thing? Even if you've not done it and you've thought like, oh my god, that is mental, but like just the just if you can the craziest it. thing. Yeah. Well, my craziest experience. I mean, I'm trying to think, but. A couple of weeks ago, I was in Ibiza and fucked four people in one night. Oh, amazing. But, like, like <laughs> not even in an orgy, like, all at different times of the night. <laughs> well, I mean, no shame in here, like, I'm here for that. <laughs> um, that was fun, then, for Yeah, you. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, do, uh, do I do any, like, really wild stuff? Um, Park Life, a couple of years ago, I fucked someone in the crowd. Did you? Yeah. Oh, my God, go on, girl. <laughs> like, D-Block or something like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, do I have any other, like, crazy... This is all, like, personal life. I think I'm more crazy in my personal life than I am on my OnlyFans. Do you? Yeah. Do you do anything, like, weird... Like, not weird, but, like, anything that's, like, out there or, like, niche on OnlyFans, or is it just kind of, like, the normal... Probably my, like, feet stuff is probably my niche stuff because yeah. I do have very large feet. Do you get a lot, quite a lot of, like, feet guys then for that reason? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Though. But um, the thing is, on OnlyFans, like, cause they're quite strict on what you can do these days. So it's, yeah. like, like we said, like can't do it that much and the game worse i think I, i'm getting stuff deleted every day from like years ago I'm yeah like, yeah this yeah isn't... i don't even remember <laughs> posting that no literally and so i tried just to do more wild stuff in real life than yeah i, do I mean now. it's good to um have that balance wild and all <laughs> do you do you think you're more like crazy in real life or on your only fans i feel like i used to be a lot more crazy in, maybe too crazy like really? I, oh yeah i was a loose cannon crazy stories to tell us oh, probably that none that i can think of at the top of my head i was wild 
Um, I've Just definitely such a little dirty girl. Well, do you know what it is? I calmed down in when it got to, like I used to drink a lot, and I used to be. A, it's when you drink as well. That's when I, you're like, oh, you don't give a fuck about what you're doing. Yeah, I think drinking is the worst thing. Like I'm no angel. I've obviously done drugs and whatever in the past, and I think out of everything that I've done, like. I'm the worst and I like I have the worst behaviour and I feel the worst on drink. Like I'm like I'm like, It's well, actually true. Drugs. I think <laughs> drugs are quite mellow. Do you know if it, now I, I was reading something about drinking and I was like, Do you know if drinking came out now it'd be a class A drug? Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, because yeah. it's been going on for so many years and because there's like so much like money in alcohol. Like yeah. you think all this like like companies that are making like yeah millions in the alcohol trade like it's so it's too deep now for yeah, them to be yeah, like yeah. we can't i think alcohol. alcohol is probably one of the worst drugs oh, like, that's definitely the one that people are the most addicted to and stuff like that. definitely and i think because it's so easily accessible as well like it's just you can just buy yeah, it from the shop like yeah. at any time and like it's cheap as well i think alcohol like it's so easy to get that especially like I think when I was stripping, that was when I was at my peak. Like, I was drinking every single night because I could. Because it was there. I wasn't paying for drinks. Guys would pay for yeah. your drinks. So you're like, why would I want to be sober yeah. in this environment? where Because you're working late hours till, like, six in the morning. Like, yeah. why would you not want to be drunk? No. And then I think when, like, I stopped dancing, and I was like, oh, my God, I've actually got an alcohol like addiction. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> so, yeah. But then, like, I feel like now I'm, like, um, a lot well, more mellow because I smoke a lot of... Not tobacco, so, Ganja. Yeah. <laughs> the green good old stuff. <laughs> I feel like that definitely calms me Do, Do you know, I love mushrooms, but I've not been able to get any good ones for ages. So oh, really? slide in my DMs if you know. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on YouTube. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> I feel like I, the last time I had good ones was when I was in Amsterdam. Yeah. Do you do shrooms? I do like mushrooms. Do you? Yeah, I love a good mushroom. Yeah. I, I feel really like wholesome. I'm like wholesome. Yeah. Day and I out. feel they're not like chemically so, like my like thing. I feel like I always feel like when I'm having like normal drugs, which is not too often, but of, like if I if I go to a party, I like to party. Like, yeah, I like to yeah, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, but I always feel like I'm like, oh my god, I bet so many chemicals. Like, like my, kind my of stomach's gross. eroding. I'm gonna die. Like yeah. I feel like with mushrooms and like weed, they're I not actually bad like, for you. It's it's from the planet. So I'm like, yeah, what? How harmful? could it man, be right not man made <laughs> no and also um have you tried that like tcb oh my god i love tcbs like really? they're like my favorite thing yeah like oh my god yeah i want to try I it Some, i've seen i've got mixed messages someone was like so good like you should definitely try if, especially oh if, you, like if you like mushrooms i think you'll like yeah. it i literally had some like last week that are so good like but i think I gave him to one of my friends. She'd never had him before, and she was like, "No, like someone I know has had a really bad time on him." And I was like, "I prom like I promise you, these ones are really mellow. They're not that like, strong at all." So I gave her one, and she was like, "Oh my god, amazing!" She's like, "This is the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> like, can I have another?" One? <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." So I suppose it's like if, I think if you're not used to to like them kind of drugs, it can be a bit because it's obviously hallucinogenic as well. Yeah, I think it can yeah. be like, whoa, what? I know my brother was like, no, nah, like that's fuck, don't do that. But then I was like. Yeah. I, think, I don't even really know what a 2CB is. I think it's like... I think it's a mix of like... Is it like fingers, MDMA? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also um, like mushrooms. It's, that's If I go to a rave, that's the kind of thing Do you get a come down on it? Oh. No, not at all. Like that's why I'm like... Oh, great. This is amazing. Like why? And it just makes everything hilarious. Like the last time that I had them was when I was in Magaluf last week. And literally like... Because after the first day I was drinking, I was like, I'm not doing this again. Like yeah. I cannot put my body through this hangover again. So I was like, right, I'll just do that. And honestly, like I, everything was hilarious. <laughs> we were sat in this bar. Oh my god, this guy walked past us and he had like an extra long neck. And I was like, oh my god, there's a giraffe there. And we were screaming. Like, I was, you probably just I'm had so like sorry if you're this guy neck. with a long neck. <laughs> if you were in Magaluf last week, I feel like I'm dissing everyone on this <laughs> podcast today. But it was yeah. I, Who was that girl you were dissing this morning? Oh, I can't remember now. The Who was it? The tattoo one. The one you've got a tattoo of. Oh, Kirsty Martin, <laughs> fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god right a bit of context because so, oh my god a fan tipped me the other day when i was on live saying fuck kirsty martin i was like you're amazing <laughs> basically this we went to bingo last week like gringo's bingo it's kind of like, like a fun bingo like bongo's bingo and they do this like they're like right we're gonna do a draw and the winner is kirsty martin <laughs> and we were like well fuck that bitch kirsty martin and that is that's literally all it was it weren't that deep but then i got a tattooed on me because fuck her <laughs> <laughs> 
So now I've, I've never got, got a tattoo. I'd, I'd have you got any tattoos? Oh, no, oh no, my no. god, I can't relate. Like, I'm, I'm so like, like um, indecisive. I end up getting one and then hating it the week after. Same. I feel like I kind of hate all my not hate like I put now I probably wouldn't have got them. I kind of got them when I was younger as a, like a rebellion thing. I was like, yeah, well, I'll sh- yeah. I'll show you. It's not allowed to tattoo. <laughs> and now I'm kind of like, oh, I'm stuck with them now. But I wouldn't like get like I'm in way too deep to start getting rid of them. Yeah. Well, that's why it's good when I get stupid things like that. Kirsty might like no one's gonna notice that like, it just yeah, blends yeah, in. Yeah. And like, I feel like when I first started getting tattoos, I was the same. I was, I'd get them and then I'd be like, why have I got this? I hate it. So I'd just get it covered up. And then like, now I'm just like, well, I might as well just keep getting like shit all over me because I, <laughs> I'm like, it's no, but it's like a coloring book. <laughs> Basically, oh my God, someone on TikTok, what did they call me? Um, a graffiti, a school desk. And I was like, why am I a school desk? Like she's covered in graffiti. I was like, that's so mean. But I mean, you have a point. Like, I am pretty like Tattered. drawn on. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think now it's definitely like part of who I am. I feel like if I could turn back, I probably wouldn't have got my hands and neck. I would have, I would have still had tattoos. I, liked, I like the neck one. It gives Do you like you? a nice jawline Thank as well. You. I feel like- Not I, that you haven't already. I just mean like defines it, doesn't it? I f- yeah, that's why I got it. Because when I was speaking to the guy, I had a really, like it was when I was bigger and he, I was like, I really want neck lipo. He was like, just get a neck tattoo. I was like, oh, I could do. And I'm like, go on then, why not? Um, but because I got I got them done in two different places, so I feel like the middle of it's like different. I wanted to get the, the middle lasered off and just keep the side, well, not lasered off, but made a lot fainter. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'll do with it yet, but we'll see. I'm sure it won't be the end tattoo. Yeah, of course. Um, do you think this industry is changing and is it for the better or worse? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what kind of question that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do definitely think it's changed so much. It's definitely so much more um, saturated. Yeah, and do you feel like with like subscription prices and stuff as well, like it's getting lower and lower? Oh you like, God, yeah, I remember when like my subscription was like fifty, and that was the normal yeah. price. Yeah, now it's like fucking. Hell, I'll pay you to look at it. <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> no, but I think it's also like a good thing because um, it's getting so much more like um, normalized. Yeah, like people aren't really shamed as much anymore or anything like that. Yeah, I think people used to like look down on you a lot and it's the same people that were looking down on you four years no, ago that are asking started. you for advice it's like yeah. well, I'm like no, no. um yeah I find that people are jealous and I well. think as well like guys used to be a lot more respectful because they'd be like oh like not a lot of girls are, are doing that not a lot of girls because we're only fans like, the reason why it is like more money than just normal like videos I think is because of like the personal aspect because yeah. they're talking to you with stuff as well whereas like before the guys would be like over the moon does a speak to her now because there's so much toys that are so yeah. entitled. Well, not all of it, them. But it's getting harder to make money on it though because it is quite like... Mm, I, d- I think I went through a state, like last year my page got to like the worst it had ever been and in my head I told myself that like my days on OnlyFans, not over, but I was like, oh, I must just be getting to that age where I'm like not making as much money, which I know is obviously bullshit. Like there's you top always, creators yeah, who are like yeah. in their like 60s even yeah. who are making like bank. But, like, in my head, I just told myself that, like, I was, like, past it and stuff. And then that's when I... But because when you start to believe that yourself as well, it reflects on your page really and stuff. You don't really as much anymore. That's it. Well. I can't remember what, what you asked me now, but it was... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's harder to make more money? Oh, yeah, that's, that's what it is. So, then, like, then, I think because I was, like, exhausting the same things over and over, but I think you, another thing with this industry, like, it is constantly changing all the time. Like, yeah. like something that Trends. might have worked last year might not work now. Yeah, so and unless trend. you're willing to, like, change with it, yeah. Then do you it, have a niche or anything? I wouldn't say it's such a me. I just say tattoos, but that's like everyone's niche now. No, I, I would say like maybe tattoos, and then like the DJing thing. I get guys coming to me from that who like not so much even just DJing because I've just, just started, like, oh, but I'm like good at DJing. Well, I'm good, good with my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of guys who are like, oh, saw you in Ibiza, saw you at a festival, saw you here, saw you there, and they're like, oh, like. That yeah, kind of thing. Nice. But other than that, I wouldn't say I've got a niche. Do yeah. you, other than your feet, would you say oh, that's the it's main It's usually one? like girl next door, yeah, 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 average, yeah. mid looking kind of. Not mid looking. But just you like a fit. very like, just normal. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, that's a, like a thing where I kind of wish like, oh, I'd, I wish I'd just like not had any tattoos so I could still be this like sweet little. A bit more like innocent. Yeah. yeah. And as well, the fact I've got 1994 tattoo to me. So I'm like, I'd like to I'm at the age now where I'd like to start like I'm 29 I'd like to start so staying like, 29 forever yeah, yeah. when I can't now I have to kind of like yeah, yeah. tell them the, tr- the truth the big 
I get it a lot that people say up. you don't look like an OnlyFans girl. Even I think because you look quite sweet and innocent, like you're like you've got like a very like mm. like a doe face, like oh my god, <laughs> not me. But trust me, I watched this girl suck a tilde earlier. She's not as innocent as she looked. I was very impressed. I was like, wow, fair play. <laughs> she is very good in that department. <laughs> yeah, so practice makes perfect. Um, I think I definitely need some more practice. 100%. <laughs> um, how did you manage to grow from? starting out as a beginner to the level that you're currently at like what oh. kind of like st- what is there any like particular social media that's like helped you like take yeah. off or at the start the- oh, i feel like it was collabs like if yeah. you were collabing a lot that was what was doing well because like you were just kind of gaining obviously yeah. you know like you were gaining off other people but they were obviously mm. gaining off you but like um collabs really worked well i used to be in management so we'd always collab with like a load of girls and like did they set up the collabs for you in the morning yeah 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 and it but it was like um they were like fairly big girls already you know like um rhiannon blue emily black Mm. tony camille we were all in the management together and we all became good friends because we collabed a lot yeah and that really helped and then just through like I think definitely TikTok in especially in the last couple of years like TikTok has just taken off so much yeah. especially with like helping our OnlyFans girls because you can go viral like just so much more quicker. Have you ever used Clapper? No, never. I've not. It's basically like the same as OnlyFans, but it's uh, not OnlyFans. Same as TikTok. TikTok, but you're allowed to like put your link in your bio and you're allowed to put oh. things about it. Is it? And is there much traffic on it though? I don't know if it's similar traffic. I've seen a girl, it was, I bought some coaching from a girl and she had like a section in there for Clapper and mm. I checked out her Clapper and some of her videos have got like 100k views and stuff on there. So it's like, there, there obviously is people on there. Can you be a bit more explicit? A lot more. You can do like, you can do lives, like what you would do on OnlyFans Live. Like you can do full expert lives and it's like... You what, you get, can just get your puss out? I think so, yeah. I think on the lives I think you can like put them behind like an, an 18 plus thing yeah. and you can I'm not too sure because I've not used it but from what I was reading of this girl's thing and so it's basically like, you know when you're doing TikToks and you're like oh this is a bit too risky it's basically all them ones that you can post yeah oh, so that's sick. and I've heard it's good and like I don't think there's that many people using it now but yeah. it's like again it's another thing like yeah remembering thing, to yeah, do it yeah, like it's just, there's just literally. so much well I think just being consistent really helps like I've yeah, done it, it for quite a while now so just like staying consistent, posting every single blue day. Yeah. That's about, I think, it kind of thing. I think consistency is definitely one of the main things. Like loads of my friends who are like been friends with through stripping, like we all like kind of started only fans at the same time, but like they, when COVID ended, they just like went back to stripping and like just completely abandoned their only fans. Yeah. And now they're kind of saying like, oh, I want some extra money. I'm going to like dip back into it. But you, it, you need to, to be, be on it every single day to be yeah. able to like do well on it. Especially if you want to like make, because fans who are like paying big money, like loyal fans are not going to pay big money if they think you're just going to disappear. Like yeah, yeah, why yeah, would yeah. they want to invest all their time and money into you when you're you're not like, you, you're flaky basically. Yeah, but the there's big. another girl who's posted every single day. Exactly. You have to be able to like, every day up, don't you like yeah exactly yeah so it's not all not all fun and games speaking of games i've got a little game oh that was a good little time oh Ooh, it is i was proud of that one <laughs> it's um these have all fell out i have played these before they were a bit tame but we'll do a couple um so these are i have never cards they are from on summer so i'm hoping that they're a little bit raunchier um so obviously they're all from on summer so they're all sexual a little bit um but I'll just quick fire you a few and you can tell us if you have or haven't done what's on the card. I reckon you've done most of these. I think you're quite wild. I think you like look kind of innocent and you're just really not. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Right, so let's start here. I reckon you've done this one. I have never had sex with someone in a public swimming pool. A public swimming pool? Hi. I've done that. But it was, it was on holiday, like in the hotel pool at night. I think I don't think I have really? I've had sex with um my best friend's brother in their family hot tub okay. but not not like a, it's a bit different <laughs> yeah similar but <laughs> <laughs> but not not um a public swimming pool I mean that can be your next one for yeah ne- next I be for trip holiday. yeah exactly I need to get ticked off the bucket list never have I ever sent a dirty text to the wrong person have you ever done that have you ever sent something to daddy and it's gone to dad that's not someone <laughs> do a tiktok about the other day oh my god yeah i think i um 
my ex-boyfriend had like passed a test or done really well and I fucking went oh well done I'm gonna suck your cock like <laughs> when, when you get home later or whatever like that like as um, a treat and I accidentally sent it, sent it to our family group chat oh my god like no. the whole family <gasps> are in there and I was like fucking hell at least it wasn't like a pic or a video or anything yeah. like that it was just like Oh, well done, I'll suck your cock later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, a girl who, in one of the OnlyFans groups I'm in, um, she, like, put a video on, so you know, like, I sometimes use Snapchat to film my videos. <laughs> yeah, you, like, see, you put filter, it on your story. And she put it on her, not even her OnlyFans Snapchat, her normal Snapchat, and her boyfriend's mum texted her, like, did you mean to put this on your story? And she was like, hey, babe, why don't you send me that cock? <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before on my, on my like, personal Snapchat, but um, I as soon as I did it, I deleted it. But yeah, it's scary. Saw, like, <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. People saw it and oh some people messaged that. me from it being like, oh, did you mean to put that on there? I hate, oh my God, do you know what I do all the time? I'm so stupid. I, I, if this doesn't make everyone subscribe to my only fans, then I don't know what will. I always send out like, Oh, videos, videos for, for free, free all the time accident, and yeah. i'll send it out and then the next day it'll be like enjoy this orgy video like yeah five thousand people have seen yeah, it and i'm yeah, like yeah, yeah, that up. was meant to be behind a paywall yeah, like yeah. you guys just like don't say i don't treat my <laughs> oh hilarious and then you like revoke it, put it <laughs> like, for a I, price and I, no one pays for it yeah i did it the other day i did i think it was like an orgy video and then someone was like why have you unsent that i'm like because it was free. Like, wh- why don't you buy it? Clicked on him, spent zero. Like, that's what I thought as well. Especially because you're unpaid. I know. Paid. I feel like it, it makes it even worse. Like, I do have a paid page. It's, oh, really? Yeah, well, it's a boy-girl page, but I've got two free pages that are both, like, in too deep of being free to ever change back. Yeah, and yeah. Then, <laughs> but then I was, you change it to money and there's, like, two people. Who say oh, I did, do you know what? I did that last year. I changed my page from, like, so many people were saying, like, oh, you'll make more money if you put a paywall mm. on. And I, I, when I put the paywall on, like, that made my... I feel like different things work for different people. Yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. It's one, just what works for you. Yeah, like, what works for, like, Susie won't work for Sally. Like, I feel like everyone's different. And for me, personally, like, being paid just made me make less money yeah so definitely. like oh, back to the freeloading life <laughs> um these are so weird i oh that why is that one twice slept with a colleague well there's two of that one have you ever slept with a colleague is that what do you say like collabing is sleeping with a colleague kind of oh yeah kind of we um, are all colleagues in a very big <laughs> work pool <laughs> big massive orgy with my colleagues um have i ever slept with a colleague what about the I'm trying to the, think what even jobs I've done? What about the guy who put your feet in his mouth? Oh no, he was well <laughs> old. I mean, I would have shagged him if he paid me. But yeah, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Give me a pay rise. I would. W- I would. I always say like I've nothing ever against escorts, but I've just never escorted. But I have had sex for money once. But the guy, I was like, well, I would have shagged him for free. Yeah, he was really fit, and I was like, oh, fancy you. And then he was like, do you want a grand to shag me? I was like. Yes. Yeah, I would, I would have checked you for free. Like, <laughs> That's great. Small for you. That's great. I'd do that if I could like verify the guy. Yeah. I feel like if you've got to check them anyway. They don't have to be that fit as long as they're not like really. As long as they shower, clean, wear a condom and like yeah. aren't that minging. Like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> fuck it. Bit of cash in hand. Have you ever masturbated on a washing machine i never knew this was a thing you always know, like, i think uh, i have made a video doing did that you? yeah but i don't i don't sit on the washing machine I, I don't think i feel like men think it does something that it doesn't do yeah i've been on a bike ride before and, and it's uh, yeah that's got really? like you know and you're like going uh, along, you're down like, a like, rocky Ooh. hill <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my god there's so many slept with a colleague why is it there like three times oh oh i have never ever sent nude pictures <laughs> wonder never um okay well i already know the answer to this one because you've said it earlier i've never ever slept with a friend's brother or sister in the hot tub so it doesn't say that one <laughs> <laughs> i've never ever had sex with more than one person in 24 hours we know that one. Oh, i have never used a butt plug well today's video will yeah, prove that use- that's a lie <laughs> um these are all like really generic things i'll do a few more let me see if there's any juicy juicy-ish ones Ooh, i have never ever had a complaint from my neighbors for having sex too loud have you ever had someone come around and tell you to shut up i have in a hotel i have before when i was at my ex's parents house 
Javier, what was it? His parents who came in and said, "Sure, yeah, <laughs> not not me having sex, me masturbating in there, like sure." Oh my God, that's even <laughs> 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 what did they come and like knock on the door and be like, uh, "Can you yeah. stop fingering yourself in yeah. our shower, please?" <laughs> yeah. Were you using the actual shower? No, I was using um, a dildo in their shower, and as well, their shower started to like the plug like hole started to fill up with water oh my god and so i was like it was like leaking everywhere and they're oh, like shit. and i was like fuck oh no and they were like why are you in the shower for so long and i was just like oh and then and then they told my boyfriend at the time we know what she was fucking doing in the shower because <gasps> we could hear her and stuff like that so oh like my that. god no way is this the one that was anti only fans yeah as well? oh god i bet his parents were thrilled you know who with you that. Are. yeah they <laughs> oh my god no they fucking hated me did they, they were, yeah the thing is, before they knew what I did, they thought I was a nice girl. Oh, and then when they found out, I think as well, it's it's very generational, and I feel like a lot more now mm. people are less caring. But I think the, pe- the the majority of people who do care are always like older. Yeah, people they anyway. were a bit older, old hags. <laughs> They're just jealous because I'm not getting on it. They can't catch a cock. <laughs> jealous. I ha- never have I ever had sex with someone twice my age. Who's the oldest person? No, I've is never slept with anyone like old. Oh, I've really? slept with someone like very younger. She probably shouldn't be admitting that. <laughs> <laughs> Not legally. I mean, le- they legally. are of age. Yeah, they're of age. <laughs> I feel. Oh my god! When I was like twenty-one, I slept with like a fifty-seven-year-old for free as well. Oh. Like, what was See, wrong? See, I with do me? if it was like money. Oh, I, feel, I should, probably should have asked him for money to be fair. Yeah. But I was just like, <laughs> have a tip. He t- well, he took us out for a meal and he spent like £100 on the meal and back then that was like loads of I money to me. I was like, oh, better I'm give him rich. something back for this. Yeah, but he, <laughs> the thing is, he was a fit old man anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, no, I'd, I'd check someone like if they were fit. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Like, why not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> give us that wrinkly old touch. <laughs> was it wrinkly? I can't, actually can't remember. I don't actually think it was that bad. Did they have grey pubes? Oh, yeah, he had grey pubes. It was a full-on like silver fox. He was like old. <gasps> um, okay, let's do... Did he still One shag more. normally? I had a threesome with him. I can't even tell you who the girl is, but you'll definitely know who the girl is because she's like quite big on OnlyFans now. But um, but for content? No, we just this was before either of us did OnlyFans. Like we, we used to um, live together in Magaluf years ago, yeah. so we we went on holiday to Vegas together. It's got to be really obvious who this is now. She's watching this. But, like, we went on holiday to Vegas together, and we just met this guy. But he was like really fit, like he was a fit old man. And then in the end, we were just like, oh, should we just shag him? Like it, we it. we decided. He didn't even ask us. We just decided. But it was like, <laughs> yeah. it was so fun. you fucked him. Basically, yeah. He like invited us up to his penthouse and I think it was in the Bellagio or something. I was like, ooh, never, never been in a penthouse before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Um, Did he last long? Sorry, I've got I questions. don't actually think he even came. I think, I think like... Do you think he took a Viagra? Yeah, probably. I don't know. You can buy him out of the like toilets and stuff in like places yeah, you like can, that, yeah? yeah, you can. They're quite easy access, aren't they? Yeah. Have you ever tried one of them girl Viagras? No, have you? I've tried a fire grip, but it did shit. Did it? I've tried, that- I don't think I tried the girl one. I think it just someone gave me a, like a pill. And did you have like, one of the blue ones? Are they all blue? I, yeah, I can't. I can't really remember. But they were like, "Oh, do you want Viagra?" So I was just like, popped it. But it didn't. I didn't. I don't think it did anything. Really? Yeah. This girl was like, "Oh no, it like makes you well horny," but I just didn't. Yeah, I've I've, I've never, never had a Viagra. I have got some in my house though, just in case, like for whatever reason, my. So no, I guess it's just like before. fun. Well, does he like? I don't know. Like, if a guy can just go forever, that's just a little game. It is, I suppose. But like after a bit, like I'm like, right, you need to stop. Like, my, I'm getting a friction burner. <laughs> I feel like I used to be able to take well more dick than I can now. No, I'm like after really? like ten minutes, I'm like, oh, right, not the post post. Like, it's good. Let's get a bit sore now. I'm gonna have a little break. <laughs> um, but yeah, I still obviously take it like a champ. I know. I was gonna say, I after. feel like I could take cock forever. Oh, I'm jealous. Wish I could. But I'm just <laughs> such a wimp now. I'm like, oh, oh, it, oh, it yeah, hurts. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, okay, let's do. Well, I'm just gonna close my eyes, pick a random one. I have never woken up next to a stranger. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, like what I went, mean? I went on a date not too long ago, and I just got so fucked on this date, and then I woke up and I was like. <gasps> guy next to me and i'm like oh, who no. the fuck is that and I, was he fit yeah yeah, oh, yeah. but i right couldn't then. i couldn't oh, i was like what the fuck is this thing and i was just like oh i couldn't remember us having sex or anything not that it was oh. like bad i don't really care but i couldn't remember from having out having drinks yeah to waking up in the morning oh god i feel like it's been a while since i've been in one of them states i remember like 
when I used to work abroad as well, because I was always just so drunk every single night. And like, obviously guys would come on holiday and like a tourist would be here and I'd just like wake up in bed next to like a random guy on holiday. But then like, they'd go home and then like, an, I'd be like, oh no. Like, But then another guy would just come and I'd be like, oh, like, hi. It's the worst when you wake up and they're not waking up and you're like, oh, oh my God, and you're stuck and you're there and your phone's leave. dying and you're like, yeah, get yeah, charged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, but well, yeah. you just can't get someone to fucking leave. And you're just like, oh. oh my god, yeah, that's the worst one there at your house. Me and my mate went out. Not, well, I say not long ago; it was years ago, and we invited this like random like Italian man back who couldn't speak any English, but he was just kept giving us massages. It was oh, me and my gay that. mate, but yeah, exactly. So he, he was like a boy, yeah. and then this random Italian man was just just giving us massages. Would you rather fun. like you go to theirs or they go to yours? Me go to theirs, and I can just leave. What about I'd, you? No, I'd prefer like me going to theirs. Yeah, that's what I meant. I'd Wait, rather yeah, no, me... no, no, I'd prefer them coming to mine. But when, what if they won't leave? Could, no. What if they're like, Lily, no, I'm going to stay and like, impregnate you? If if I go to theirs and I'm like, what's a good time to leave? Like, do I leave straight after the sex? Do I like leave? Oh yeah, because you don't want to outstay your welcome either. Yeah, because yeah, what yeah, if exactly, they want you to leave exactly, straight after exactly. the sex? But if they're like, oh, I only used you for a cheap so but it's get like out. easy to know where you stand if a guy comes to yours and then he can fuck off when he wants. But like. what if he? What if you tell him to leave and he, like, what if you drop a hint and he's like, n- like doesn't leave? Makes me stuck up. with him then. I've got, I've got somewhere to be. Well, sometimes they just say like, oh, it's alright, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd just be like, no, like, get I'm, out! Yeah, <laughs> fuck it <laughs> out! Fuck them! I'd be straight out. <laughs> no, I would just usually be like, oh, I've got somewhere to be like, and I'm going to my mum's tonight, and like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd make up an elaborate story. Yeah, I suppose you have um, to sometimes, don't you? Yeah, what was, exactly. Have you ever made up, like, um, like what's the most elaborate lie I've ever made out of to like avoid someone? Oh, Do you, can you think fuck. of any? I don't lie that much because it just gets you more shit. But sometimes you have to. Like if you're in that position, would you rather say? I'd rather just be like, oh, sorry, I have to do this, than be like, I just you dick too small, get out. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's usually like I've got a nail appointment, something boring, something quite like, yeah. average. But like. Do you ever make something up and then you just get yourself into like? Oh my god, all the time. That's so why I don't do it. Well, I used to. Yeah, like yeah. I used to think because it's you think it's a white lie and then the, like that stems out and the people ask yeah. questions. And Sometimes they're like, just white lie out of like laziness. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like someone's like, "Oh, what happened?" You just like. I don't know. You just put something like whatever because yeah. you can't be asked to explain the whole story. But then like, and then you just fuck yourself because. End up like finding out, and they're like, "Why did you lie about that?" And you're just like, "Oh, it's just like." Long Especially time. if it's something really small and yeah, stupid, yeah. and then the, you get caught out, and you're like, "Oh, why have I lied about yeah, that?" Yeah, yeah, that makes like, it really Oh my dumb. god, do you the the most stupid thing I've been caught out with? Right, is like ages ago. I was seeing this guy, and he, he was telling me that he'd fully split with his girlfriend, and I knew he was lying. So I was like, "Right, I'm gonna make a fake account." But I made this fake account so believable. I watched this TikTok that was like basically this girl, and she set up this like forum, and she was like, "Everyone who's got a fake account, join this forum, and we'll all follow each other's fake accounts." So so in the end, I had like 500 followers on this fake <laughs> right? That was like, and I made it look really real. I found this girl from like VSCO and stuff. And I was like, right, this is, I was proper going deep. And then I was like, once I've set this account up, I can literally just like nosy at anyone anytime. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. amazing. But I set it up and then I like was like stalking this girl. And I found out that they were still together, but I like, I still had the account. And then, like one day, I went on holiday, and I'd gone, I'd gone to Ibiza, and I was like, "Oh my god, I was a mess. I was in Ocean Beach, and I posted on the story of me in Ocean Beach, and the girl knew who I was as well because she knew that like I'd been involved with the guy like before they got together, and so she like watched my story, and it was me like in Ocean Beach, and I'd like basically be like watching her story like every day of this big account. (laughs) So I feel like that is like, even though it's not really a lie, I suppose it is, but that is quite an elaborate like plan, though. Yeah, I was like, but I need, what was I going to do? Because, like, this girl was never going to accept me or anyone yeah. that I knew on social media. Like, I needed, sometimes you just got to know the truth. You've sometimes you just to. need a burner account to just, like, find no, out all that info. No, but sometimes, like, then I think that hurts you even more because you're just getting yourself so worked up about, like, nothing that you can do. do. I suppose, but it was, like, he wasn't telling me the truth and I, I wanted to know the truth yeah. for my own sake. Oh, like, oh okay, no, no, that's So, I, like, I was seeing the guy still then and he was saying that they'd split up, but, like, she was private. You wanted to see if she I was, wanted like, to go on it. And it turns out it's a good job I did because when I went on it and went on her story it was him on the story so yeah. i found out that way that they yeah. were still seeing each other and then other. you can kind of you can and then I, then I, yeah of course after at that point i was like well you've obviously yeah, but then okay. i told the girlfriend i was like your boyfriend's been cheating on you basically i've got like ring cameras in my house so i have like i was like Had if you it. really don't believe me because at first she didn't i was like right 
I can literally send you videos of him walking into yeah. my house. And I did do. And then she got back with him. I like, literally sent her that. I was like, this is me Some naked in my kitchen. Some girls are like that, though. They can't be like... Well, it is what it is. Like, I mean, it wouldn't be me. But, but the, yeah, it's not not your problem. <laughs> yeah, of course. And then yeah, that was it. But I still like accidentally like follow the girl on my burner account. Still watch her story from time to time. Just out of, out of she's got a new boyfriend now. I'm like, Ooh, <laughs> what's going on? Keep me away life? from that one. No, I'm joking. Yeah. I wouldn't like, <laughs> yeah. like go after someone's boyfriend. Hold me back. But yeah, like well, not, maybe hers. Home <laughs> wrecker. I know, so bad. But to be fair, at least I found out the truth yeah. and didn't home wreck. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, I think that's about it for today. Enough of um, trying shit, trying shit, home wrecking, and all that jazz. So thank you so much for coming on, Lily. If you no, want to drop any me. of your socials or links, yeah. now's the time. Lily Philip underscore S for Instagram and Twitter, and then my only fancy names Lily Daisy Phillips. Amazing stuff. Well, thanks so much for coming on and for thanks for having yeah. Me. We've had a good time, we've had a yeah. laugh. And if you want to watch um more of me and Lily together, you can watch a lot more of what we've been getting up to on both of our spicy sites. Um, and that video should be out soon, <laughs> if not now. I don't know when this is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you all soon.